grand rising beautiful people what's going on this is mike with the one percent mindset i hope you're doing absolutely amazing it is tuesday september 26 yes tuesday september 26 uh episode 367 of the mental jolt podcast i am extremely excited to be with you and of course if this is your first time listening to this podcast this is your jolt of inspiration each and every single morning to get your day started it's your cup of coffee of motivation or as i like to say it's the work before the work so whether you're on your way to the gym to school to work wherever it is this podcast will get your day started fam listen to me I told you yesterday that I was doing this, uh, this, this leadership training and a lot of stuff, you know, comes up and, and, and a lot of stuff happens, right? They call this first week boot camp because you're reacclimating and readjusting to what's there, right? What's important uh, to you and you ha- there, there's things that are required from you. But listen to me, in the space of overwhelm, in the space of a lot of stuff happening, how are you taking care of you, right? Are you making sure your priorities get done that's important to you? You see, people can only treat you how you treat you. People will only move as far or push things as much as you allow it, right? A lot of unnecessarily, unnecessary problems comes from the lack of self-respect and self-worth that you have for you, right? Because if you don't advocate for you, who else will, right? There's certain non-negotiables that happens, right? There's certain things that you that you do no matter what, right? You try to make sure you're eating, right? The, the necessary, drinking water, brushing your teeth. These are certain non-negotiables that you have. Do you have non-negotiables in your life around how you treat yourself? Do you have non-negotiables in your life with how you treat others, with how others treat you? Right, there's certain things that are required for a high standard, high quality individual. Do you respect yourself? Do you respect your body? Do you respect your body enough to not feed it crap all the time? Do you respect your body enough to work out? Do you respect yourself enough to not beat yourself up or to have bad self-talk to yourself? Why aren't those non-negotiables? Right, everyone could, oh, these are my non-negotiables, right? It could be around relationship, it could be around money. But where's your self non your your non-negotiables around how you speak to yourself, how you treat your body, how you're moving in this world? Those are the non-negotiables that are most important. The most important. I hear people talk bad about themselves all the time or other people. And we're speaking about non-negotiables around like, oh, this person needs to make X amount of dollars or you know, I need to make sure they drive this. It, so many materialistic things are non-negotiables that aren't necessary, right? I'm not saying don't have standards. I'm not saying, you know, don't strive to be the very best. But you can't have non-negotiables around material things when you're struggling inside. Because those are the non-negotiables that are important. Right? Not, not the other things. And I'm not saying they're not important. They're not important to you, but you get to prioritize your mind, your body, your soul. Those are priority. Those should be non-negotiables. You should say like, man, I'm here and I don't feel good because I'm eating crap. My non-negotiable is to make sure I'm fueling my body because without that, there is no point in living because eventually I won't. That's what you need. You need to fuel your mind, right? Because mental health is real. And if your mind isn't sharp, you can spiral down. Though that should be a non-negotiable. Not the other things that we think about societal things. Those non-negotiables don't matter as much as the ones that are self, self-respect, you know, worthiness. Those things matter. So as you're moving forward through your day today, ask yourself, what are your non-negotiables? For your life. Not material, but for who you're becoming, who you want to be. What are those non-negotiables? And I promise you, if you're able to set solid, firm non-negotiables in that, that can start the conversation for a better life. Of course, I love you guys. Peace.